how I long to go with you on one of those trips, Harry. Do you remember that time? You almost talked me into putting on Stockman's clothing and going with you. You would have been beautiful. <laughs> I'll always regret that I didn't, but it was the thought of that long ride back with the cattle, that long trip that really worried me. The ride northward sounded marvellous. I can just imagine how idyllic it would have been. Just the two of us with pack horses, riding an easy stage each day, camping at night under the stars or under a tent fly in a secluded spot, and living off mutton that we borrowed <laughs> from the squatters without them knowing, just as you describe it in Westwood Ho. Westwood Ho, fellas. <laughs> Westwood Ho. Dapper in the ashes, tea and sugar in the bags. There's whips of feed and shelter in the sand hills for the nags. There's pretty wood about us, a water close at hand, and just one bottle left of the good Glenlivet brown. There are chocks upon the embers, which seem a close up none. From as fine a poor tooth weather as you'll find on Crossbreds Run. There's a saying on the darling, the truth of which I hold. That mutton's eye the sweetest that was never born or sold. <laughs> Out of fifty thousand weathers, surely crossbred wouldn't be this. A sheep was her to travel the slate, did fancy mutton in this. Let's take a dip to crossbred island, it with a grin. Then shovel along the billy made and squad it gets way in. Sing hey, we're going to town and now we're going to come. 